Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing with issue 8 of our Ecto-1 build. We have our parts right here. It's pretty light. I think these are all plastic. But uh, let's open it up and see what we got. All right, here are the parts we get with this issue. We've got the uh, left and right front fender liners. We've got the radiator tank, uh, the uh, filling cap, and the front and rear of the radiator, as well as an overflow tube and a whole bunch of screws. All right, uh, to begin, we're gonna start with the left front fender, and uh, you can tell it's the left because this uh, extended piece here is going to go in towards the back with the well here facing out. When you're placing this, make sure that the uh, uh, brake line here is out of the way and push back. And try to get it to go through uh, this hole here. And you can see that it lines up. You've got this tab over here that lines up with this post. You've got another one right here, I'm gonna line up over here, and then the same on the back, just like that. Now once that's all uh, assembled, you're gonna wanna use four screws. These two up here are gonna be DM screws. This one is going to be an NM screw, and this will be a CM screw. All right, and there we go. Left front fender is attached. And now we just have to repeat the process on the other side for the right fender. You also have this extra pipe here on the right side. No idea where it's gonna go. So we're gonna just try and make sure that it stays back like this and uh, doesn't get caught in the process. All right, right fender liner is complete. Our pipe is still loose, so it can attach wherever it is that it's going to attach. And everything is ready to go here, so we can actually put the chassis to the side for now. All right, now we can begin building the radiator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the radiator front, which you can tell uh, is the front because it's got this interior, whereas this one does not. And you can see it's got some holes along the top, and you've got the radiator fill tank here. This also has a hole right there. That hole is going to face in this direction, and these posts will, on the bottom here, we're going to help keep it lined up just like this. Once you've got it slid in, just like that, underneath you can use two DP screws to attach it. I don't know if you can see those holes or not. There you go. Two DP screws to attach it. Once you've got the radiator tank attached securely, you're going to want to take uh, this section, the radiator rear, and you're going to want to slide that thing in. And it looks like uh, this smooth area is going to go towards the bottom here. So it should go right in just like that. And make sure you've got all this wonderful detail. The other side of this is, well, it's not even coming out. There we go. It's smooth. You don't want that facing outwards. You definitely want this just like so. And you're going to have this uh, extra hole here on the bottom coming out and use HP screws, six of them, to attach this. All right, and there you have it, all nice and attached. Next you want to take the uh, cap here and if you can see, it's all shiny, but it is keyed. There's a rounded side and a flat side. And right here, this post is also keyed. So it can only go in one way, and you just slide it in. Uh, yeah, fits pretty securely there. You can actually hold it up with that. 
So I don't really think you need any glue or anything. And then you're gonna wanna take the overflow hose, you're gonna wanna put it on that peg there. And if you have difficulty doing it, uh, please remember the toothpick method that I've demonstrated in previous issues. And there you have it, all nice and attached. It's supposed to come down along this edge here, but there's nothing to attach it yet. But this actually finishes stage 24. All right, stage 24 is complete. I did take this off the box, but I've got the shock absorbers off the edge of the table here. Um, we got the uh, liners in here, so the uh, engine bay here is looking really nice. And we've got our radiator belt. So that was actually a pretty fun issue. Uh, I do kind of wish they had stuck to the rear so we could get some support and uh, able to keep this thing up off these shock absorbers, but uh, maybe in the next issue. If you like the issue, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.